What's up guys? Welcome to today's tutorial. I'll be showing you how to make a Rasengan in Cinema 4D. Shout out to your boy Jack Moonzy for requesting this tutorial. And shout out to everyone that watches anime and are heavy into Naruto like me. So yeah. So first off, let's go ahead and grab a sphere. Go up to the parametric objects, click and hold, and you will have these options click on the sphere you will see your attributes over here and change the radius to 160 in the segments change it to 500 now go ahead and create a new material double click on it to open it up and go into the luminance channel check it in the texture over here where the arrow is, click it and you will have some options. Go to noise. Now in the noise, change it to gaseous. In the octaves, change it to 20. Change the global scale to 140 and bam. Go to the, go back over here where the arrow is and grab a gradient right here click on whoa, whoa never mind go back undo that by pressing ctrl z go ahead and grab a layer oh well i accidentally grabbed a fusion again grab a layer <laughs> go into shader and choose what was it again yep and choose gradient now click on the gradient right here and instead of 2d u click on it and change it to 2d circular right click on any of the knots right here this white one or black one it doesn't matter and invert them click on this black one over here and change it to light blue turquoise make the knots close like that change the turbulence to 20% go back up go into your noise and in layer well in color one change it to a dark blue a dark light blue you can pause the video right here and copy my HSV values if you want my exact same results I suggest you go with your own, maybe make like a red key ball or a red spirit bomb or an orange key blast and stuff like that. Or a negative Rasengan by a, I don't know, a reincarnated Naruto. Alright, back to the tutorial. Click on this white one over here and change color one to something that's like light blue oh that's green that's good right there in the gradient you will have this normal right here click on it and change it to add so it will overlay this noise hmm. hold on make that blue a bit darker and more lighter a little bit go ahead and drag that material onto your sphere go into the texture over here and where it says u and v tiles change it change the values to 0.1 now go back into the material so we can fix this thing real quick and go back to the luminance and click on layer oh let's give it a test render hmm. oh yeah go into transparency click on transparency change the brightness to 82 and the refraction preset choose water if you don't have refraction presets go into the refraction and change it to 1.333 Go into your alpha over here, check it, 
go to texture, this arrow right here, and choose the noise. And the noise over here, drop it down, and you'll get these options, choose gases. Change the global scale to 140. Copy that right there, that channel, and go into the displacement, check it, the texture, paste it. Change from intensity center to just intensity. Let's go ahead and make a test render. I'm liking it. This is our outer shell of our Rasenagon. All right, so. Next thing to do is make another sphere. No, wait, hold on. Go back to the sphere over here and uncheck render perfect. You know, if this was more natural, it's not anime. Not true anime, because uh, this isn't a 2D thing. This is Cinema 4D, and it's a render for 3D purpose. So, yeah, uncheck render perfect and render again. Now, as you can see here, we have some really fine detail. It looks more energetic. Well, not energetic. That's like a, a term for expressions and emotions. It looks more of a, like an energy ball than it would if it was render perfect. So yeah, make sure it's make sure render perfect is unchecked. Go ahead and grab another sphere. Make sure it's in the center, just in case you position your first sphere somewhere else. Change the sphere one name to inner core. Change the outer sphere name to outer core. This will keep us more organized. If you don't know how to change the names, just double click on them and you'll be able to change it. Go to create, grab a new material. If you want a shortcut of making new materials, just double click anywhere in this box over here. Drag your new material into the inner core. Go to the inner core, uncheck render perfect, change the segments to 500. Go back into your inner core materials or outer core material. In the displacement, make sure you copy it. Go to your inner core texture, go to displacement and paste it. Change from intensity to centered and bam. Next is to go to luminance, just check it, then transparency and change the transparency to 90, 92. Make a test render, and we have our Rasengan. Looks awesome, but it's not bright enough. Go into your render settings by this cog wheel over here in the clip. Go to effect and choose glow. Go ahead and make another render. That looks awesome. Now, if you want to adjust this core, make it, you know, wider or anything, just go to the inner core and make Group it shout from clone army of the Republic. Bigger. Make another render. And it looks... I was really going with the other one. So I'm going to go back. And that's it, guys. Thank you for watching the tutorial. Hopefully you followed along correctly and got the result that you were looking for. I'm going to show you how this looks on a Roblox character, which is the first one I've done. Oh yeah, credit to Azenix for this rig that I rigged my character with. Hmm. See, the first one that I did, it was a lot more noise. So it was more dense in terms of black and whiteness and my inner core was a lot larger than what it should have been but yeah this is pretty much how it's going to look
Group shout from clone army of the Republic. On a character. And like I said, I was really preferring the new one that I just made for you guys. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe for more. Again, shout out to your boy Jack Moonzy for requesting this. Shout out to Arenix for this rig. I said Arenix as Zenix is what I meant. If you guys are GFX artists and you want to go ahead and join a community of us on Discord, I will drop a link below to our server. Or. <laughs> <laughs> Stop making tutorials, yo. Wow. Alright. So, shout out to Sheiks for giving me a heads up right there. Yeah. Anyway, back to what I was saying. There is a community of us on Discord. I will drop the link to the server below. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Have a good time. Um, yeah. Bye.